What started off as a quest to complete two childhood action figures has now turned into a huge display here in Lone Wolf of almost 300 G.I. Joes. The stage is set for battle. With dozens of G.I. Joes reporting for duty, it's a scene straight out of a child's imagination. I wanted to kind of capture the original G.I. Joes, and, and they were made from 1964 uh, to 1976. But this 15-foot D-Day diorama was created by big kid Dr. Neil Vitell. It allows me to play with the action figures without playing with the action figures. Neil opened the G.I. Joe repair shop and museum in 2015 in the quiet downtown area of Lone Wolf. Almost everyone that's come that didn't come for this reason to see G.I. Joe, they go, wow, I didn't know this was here. Neil spent years buying, repairing, and then selling the iconic toy before deciding to keep them for himself, and now sharing his vast collection with the public. If you don't know G.I. Joe, you're really kind of shocked by it because there's so many different varieties. From the earlier ones that represented every branch of the military to the later ones that go on adventures to even a nurse, the well-known toy is showcased in every imaginable scenario. They got really cool stuff that you can see here, um, different kind of vehicles and uniforms. And unlike most museums, you're allowed to touch the displays. I love it when parents bring their kids in and they start touching them and the parents go, don't touch that. So it's been around longer than you have, you know, mom, let them play with it. If it breaks, I'll fix it. Which brings us to the back of the building where Neil does his magic. If you have the right tool. To bring the broken toys back to life. This elastic is what holds the head and the arms together. You could just pull that through there. And, and if you pull it all the way through, and then all these parts go together pretty nicely. Restoring America's movable fighting man, if not for battle, but to at least spark a memory or interest in those who visit. You know, they're eager to come here, and when they do, they spend, you know, believe it or not, the place isn't that big, but they spend hours in here. If you look around town here, it's, it's nice to have something, you know, that people come to town for. Discovering Oklahoma in Lone Wolf, I'm Deanne Stein.